All right, folks. Uh, it's going to be a huge battle on Monday uh, on uh, Capitol Hill where you're going to have conflicting testimony. A woman who accuses uh, Supreme Court nominee Judge Brett Kavanaugh of attempting to rape her. He absolutely denies it. Uh, it has been a wild, wild week uh, in Washington, D.C., where she initially said that she wanted to testify. Then she said that there, there should be an FBI investigation. Well, over the last uh, 24 hours, uh, we've had lots of things uh, actually happening, happening back and forth. And so, as a result, uh, we, not, we expect her to now testify on Monday. But other witnesses will not be allowed to testify. Uh, Chuck Grassley, of course, he is the chair of the Senate Judiciary Committee. Uh, he is holding firm, and he also is making it clear uh, he will not allow for there to be an FBI investigation. Joining us right now here in New York is Tamika Mallory. She's the co-president of the Women's March. Tamika, glad to have you here. Uh, th th it's been very interesting watching all of this. Um, and, well, you have Senator Orrin Hatch uh, sounding very similar to the things that he said about Anita Hill right. uh, when, in that confirmation hearing in 1991. Uh, you have a Republican uh, congressman out of Florida who made a joke by saying that uh, Ruth Bader Ginsburg, a Supreme Court justice, mm -hmm. said that Abraham Lincoln groped her. Mm -hmm. right. uh, you have Republicans who are um, mocking her, mm -hmm. who are mocking her. Absolutely. Absolutely. And so that's what I mean, it's, it's a, what do you say about what is going on here? I mean, it's obviously very clear that from 1991, when we had the Anita Hill situation until now, not much has changed. Even in the Me Too era, it is very clear that the federal government and particularly our, the Senate has not taken any real uh, steps. And the Judiciary Committee has not taken any real steps to deal with sexual harassment and sexual assault in a real way. I mean, that is very clear. It's the same scenario playing out again. And we actually have the opportunity this time, knowing all that we know and having the Me Too era be so strong to rewrite history and to right the wrongs that we were unable to, to take care of at the time when Anita Hill came forward with her story. And one of, one of the things that is, is interesting to me mm is that when, when you see this back and forth, when you see uh, her say uh, there needs to be an investigation, I mean, look, at the end of the day, Democrats don't want to see him confirmed. Right. Because they're still angry about what took place with Merrick Garland. Um, but what's also interesting uh, is that on the Republican side, they absolutely want this to be done quickly. They want him on the court before the court convenes on October 4th. Uh, they want this to happen before uh, the midterm elections. Uh, and the White House makes it clear they're not going to pull his name. Absolutely. And they're willing to do it at all costs. They do not even care. And they, they've been clear about that. First of all, let's be clear. Yes, Dr. Ford, we believe her. And this particular situation is extremely serious. And we believe as women and just as, uh, you know, good moral citizens that she should be heard and that there should be a federal F FBI investigation and that what's happening right now is borderline criminal. So that's one thing. But also, we were already, Women's March and other groups, um, uh, really, really Women's March leading there at the Senate hearings protesting already because we know that this particular candidate, while we don't know a lot about Kavanaugh, we do know that in, in every instance where he showed up in a place that is in reference to, I guess, being on the right side of history, it hasn't been good. He has sided with uh, corporations and institutions over people and workers. Uh, we have seen him in a number of situations that we do not believe that he is someone that should be on, have a lifetime appointment mm -hmm. to the Supreme Supreme Court. And the mere fact that Donald Trump, someone who really should be in jail, really, let's be serious here. This man is under investigation. And he's unindicted, but we all know that he is really pretty much uh, guilty of treason in this country, that he is the person who put forth um, uh, Brett Kavanaugh. That in itself is very dangerous. So people were already protesting having this man to receive this type of appointment. And now we have a woman to come forward and pretty much make it very clear that he is not someone who at least should be pushed through. Mm -hmm. I mean, we should have a real investigation here. Why not? What is there to hide? But it's very clear that, you know, Grassley and all of these people who who just decided they're going to make it happen anyway. Uh, Professor Christine Blasey Ford is her name. There were a number of women who were who have been uh, flooding the halls of Congress uh, over the last couple mm -hmm. of days. 
uh, do you expect Monday mm. uh, to really be a contentious day? What is the Women's March plan right. uh, for Monday? So, well, and also I need to make sure to state that today there were over 60 women, women and men, arrested mm. in the Hart Senate office building because I think the point that we need to make here is you may actually get this done, but we will primary you and we will show up and make sure that mm -hmm. you feel us in the districts and on the local level. So our senators need to be very clear about that. Monday, we're not 100 percent sure that she's going to testify on Monday. She actually has said that Monday she does not want to testify. Mm -hmm. So there's some back and forth. But over the week, we know that it will happen. And I believe that people are going to show up. They're going to be loud and bold. And of course, behind the scenes, there are many organizations and folks on the ground talking about what it looks like to show up. And yes, Women's March will certainly be there as we have since the beginning of these hearings. All right, then.